It has become impossible to go through a day without needing to take a quick screenshot. And there's 5 different ways you can take screen snaps or capture full web pages on your iPhone 15, Pro or Pro Max. Either by using the buttons, without the buttons, by using voice commands or simply tapping on the back of your iPhone. So let me show you how. The first one, which most of you already know, is by pressing the volume up and the power button together to take a screenshot. Now if you want to take screenshot without pressing any buttons, there's a few different ways to do that. One of those ways is by using the voice command. To be able to do that, first you need to make sure that Siri is set to listen to you. So we will open up settings and then go to Siri and search. And from here, go to listen for, and if it's turned off, just select one of these above ones. Then you can just say, hey Siri, take a screenshot. And she will follow through. Another cool and convenient way is by taking screenshot by tapping on the back of your iPhone. To be able to do that, just go to settings, then find accessibility, open touch, scroll all the way down and you'll see the option called back tap. Open it and from here you can either choose double or triple tap. We'll select double tap and from the list select screenshot. Now you can take screenshot anywhere you want just by tapping on the back of your iPhone twice or thrice. There's another one. I know a lot of you already use assistive touch and you can also customize it to take screenshots. So we will need to go to the accessibility settings once again. Then go to touch. Then from the top we'll select assistive touch. If it's not turned on already, turn it on. And from the list of custom actions, select the one you want to choose. We'll select single tap in this one. And similarly, from the list, select screenshot. Now to take a screenshot, we can just tap on the virtual home button and it will take a screenshot for us. Now if you want to edit a screenshot after taking one, just tap on the preview and from here, you can edit your screenshot and share it with others. You can also delete it if you want. Now if you want to take a full page screenshot of a web page, just take a screenshot in any way and then tap on the preview. From here, you'll see a new option called full page. Select it and you'll be able to see the preview of the whole web page. Then just press done and select where you want to save it. We'll save it to photos. Now let's check the screenshot we just took. As you can see, it shows the whole web page. Now you've mastered all the way to take screenshots on your iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. Hope this comes in handy, make sure to share it with others and do drop by for more.